Okay. Booker Tov. Come up, Heshi, come on. It gives me great pleasure this morning to welcome all of you to the second day of the power to detect and create ethical challenges emerging from DNA technology and genetics, the impact of genetics on Jewish living and Jewish ethics. Um, permit me just to review the day with you so you see what's coming up, sort of coming attractions. After um, our greetings in the morning, there will be um, a lecture of Dr. Svishbach on the ethics of the, uh, genetic research on autism, followed by a panel on creating the modern golem, which will be chaired by Dr. Prager, um, and which will include a number of very interesting speakers. Uh, after lunch, there will be small group discussions which we encourage our students and additional students and anyone who is, wants to be a student to <laughs> participate. It uh, gives you the opportunity um, to engage in some directed and more intimate discussion with, um, with the experts who we've brought together uh, on some of the topics that we're discussing. Uh, and then finally, one thing that I'm really looking forward to is the moot court uh, this afternoon. Uh, we where Rav Michal Abraham and Judge Neil Handel, recently appointed judge of the Supreme Court of Israel, will be talking about the legal and halachic ramifications of privacy rights and genetics. Who owns your genes? Who owns them? Who, who, who has the right to use them, to use the information, both from a legal and from a halachic perspective? Uh, I think that this should be a very, very interesting session, and then we will wrap up the conference with a short concluding, um, a short concluding session. Um, uh, before I introduce uh, Professor Bosch, uh, I simply want to extend my own personal thanks to all those who worked very, very hard in preparing this conference from the perspective of the Machon. Um, certainly, uh, my assistant, Diana Zavlok, who worked tirelessly and continues to do so, um, to Tamar Plitt, who came from New York, a student intern, to work um, from, on the, from the Columbia team. And of course, uh, Kobe Pitusi, um, uh, who, who did an outstanding and continues to do in, in making possible everything that we're able to do here today. Um, needless to say, it continues to be a pleasure to work with Dr. John Loike. And we hope that in a, maybe in less than five years we will, we will do this again. I also want to recognize uh, the, the former Rosh Beit Ben Rasha, the Machon of Aaron Katz, uh, who was instrumental in the uh, first Kenes five, five years ago, um, which really created the kind of energy uh, that, that generated, that generated this, this Kenes as well. Um, just a word about the Machon HaGavol the Torah, about the Ludwig and Erika Jesselson Institute for Advanced Torah Studies at Bar Ilan. The symbol of Bar Ilan is a microscope and a Torah. And we have the only students in the university who formally both are looking in the microscope and in the Sefer at the same time. They study Torah while they pursue fantastically interesting academic pursuits, while they pursue degrees not only Torah Rishon, Torah Sheni, Torah Shlishi, not just BAs and MAs, but doctoral students. We have postdoctoral students who are learning Torah under our auspices, and we really bring together what Bar Ilan represents, and that is the fusion of all of human knowledge. We, we were studying here really the secrets of the Bria, and our students have an opportunity to study the secrets of the Bria both from the wellsprings of our tradition as well as from the cutting edge of what the human mind is able to understand uh, in our time today. And finally, I simply want to close my remarks by recognizing the participation of one of our, of one of our sponsors, 
of the Yavna founders, Rabbi Nachum and Yaakov Meir Shapiro Jewish Ethics Program. The Shapiro family established a foundation to promote Jewish ethics in memory of the founders of the Yavne Yeshiva. It was a small yeshiva in Brooklyn which taught Torah and which really represented an ethical standard which they wanted to continue. And the university has uh, sponsored over many years a number of programs in, uh, in ethics and Jewish law and Jewish living. And we're very, very pleased that the Shapiro family saw fit to choose our program as well uh, to support and to, and to be part of. Um, to deliver greetings from the university, I am very pleased to introduce Professor Harold Bosch, who is the Vice President for Research. Professor Bosch. Thank you. 